from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. Three Henrico businesses make the Fortune 500 list and what Google user data is telling us about Henrico Citizen's movements during the past six weeks. Details about those stories and more coming up on today's Henrico News Minute for Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. It's brought to you today by the Sandston Smokehouse. And now for the news. Henrico citizens have been staying away from work and staying at home during the past six weeks at the same rate as Virginians overall, according to mobility data compiled by Google. The data collected from the devices of Google users in an anonymous format shows that between March 28th and May 9th, Henrico residents on average stayed home 10% more often than they had between January 3rd and February 6th, and they visited places of work 28% less often. Both numbers were identical for Virginians overall and very similar to the numbers for Americans in general who visited work 26% less often and stayed home 9% more often. Henricoans also visited retail and recreation sites 33% less often. The state average was a 32% drop. Transit stations 55% less often. The state average was a 36% decline. And they went shopping at grocery stores and pharmacies just 1% more often, while the state average was 4% more often. But if they have been exercising outdoors, it hasn't been at parks for the most part. Henrico residents spent 24% less time at parks during the recent six-week period when compared with the four-week period earlier in the year. Statewide, though, Virginians have visited parks 8% more often and Americans in general 9% more often. In Chesterfield County, residents have been going to the park 37% more often than earlier in the year, and Richmond residents have done so 30% more often. The percentages reflect a day-by-day comparison between the number of visits to and the length of stays at sites within each group of locations during that most recent six-week period and the median value for the corresponding days of the week from the previous time frame. Google collected the data from users who had turned on their location history setting on their Google accounts on Internet-connected devices, according to the company. The data may or may not represent the behavior of a larger population, according to Google officials. Virginia Department of Health officials today announced 296 new COVID-19 test results for Henrico County. Only 27 of those were positive. That's about a 9% positivity rate. In total now, the county has 1,299 positive test results of the 7,823 tests conducted in the county for an overall positivity rate of 16.6 percent. There was one new death reported in the county today, bringing the total to 114. That person was in their 70s. Three Henrico companies have again made the Fortune 500 list. Henrico-based tobacco giant Altria was again the top local company on that list, which was released yesterday. It ranks U.S. businesses based upon their annual revenues. Altria ranked number 167, five spots lower than last year, with nearly $20 billion in revenue. That's up about 1%, even though its profitability declined by 118%. Henrico-based Markel Insurance rose 106 spots to number 335, reporting $9.5 billion in revenue, a 39% jump from the previous year. And Genworth Financial, also based in the county, was number 364, four spots lower than last year. It reported $8.68 billion in revenue, a 3% jump. Henrico-based Brinks companies made the Fortune 1000, ranking 669th. A registration for the coming school year is now open for kindergartners as well as new students entering in grades 1 through 12. Because of the pandemic, Henrico Schools is conducting registration online rather than in person. You can register your new student with his or her new school using the online registration portal. Just go to henricoschools.us backslash registration. There you'll find a link to the registration portal as well as instructions and details about the documents that you'll need to register your student. If you're not sure which school your child will attend, visit henricoschools.us backslash school dash locator. 
Henrico Area Mental Health and Developmental Services is offering free virtual training on how to administer naloxone to potentially save the life of someone who has overdosed on opioids. The virtual Revive Opioid Overdose and Naloxone Education for Virginia classes are conducted by WebEx video conferencing platform or by phone. Participants will receive a free dose of the nasal spray form of Narcan, a brand name for naloxone, by mail after completing the training. Twelve training opportunities are available per week. Each class takes 15 to 30 minutes to complete. For a schedule and to register, call 804-727-8515. The Revive training program was developed by the Virginia Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Services. The drug naloxone can temporarily reverse the toxic effects of an opioid or heroin overdose, which allows time for professional medical attention. For more resources or details about overcoming an addiction, visit opioidsolutionsrva.com or bouncebackhc.com. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by the Sandston Smokehouse, offering our entire menu of quality traditional barbecue and American fare meals from 11 to 8 daily for carryout, curbside pickup, or through third-party delivery. Call 322-7400 or visit sandstonsmokehouse.co to experience barbecue perfection for yourself.